All right, uh, Shalom. All uh, praise going on. It goes to Yahweh. By Shemi Shai, By Shemra Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles. And the elders of great millstone. They rule well. And peace and blessings to the elect. Um, this is another edition of GMS News and Prophecy. Uh, but uh, this is going to be really uh, real quick. This is just a uh, article. I actually didn't get to see it until today. But... Uh, mm, Nonetheless, the spirit was on me to share this information. Um, there's going to be a, a there's actually a super moon solar eclipse today, right? Because today is a Friday, uh, July the thirteenth, and there's a, a actual um, super moon solar eclipse happening. Um, Today, uh, I'm not sure if it's actually going to be to if it's actually uh, now or later tonight. It may, um, but nonetheless, it's still a, a a sign in the heavens that has occurred in the earth. Okay, I mean whether you catch it or you miss it, you know. Nevertheless, it uh, it happened, and this is just another sign uh, from Yahweh Bashmi I was shy that we are at the end. Okay, so this is from uh, Yahoo.com, and it says there's a supermoon solar eclipse this Friday, the 13th, for the first time in 43 years. Okay, now I'll, I'll, I'll say this, how ironic that all of these um, signs in the heavens, these eclipses and these supermoons and blood moons, um, you know, that they're all happening, you know, Actually, this year, 2018, and I'll say this, even this year, this uh, July, there's there's a um, number of, of uh, signs in the heavens um, taking place. We just had a, a strawberry moon about two weeks ago, um, which is was basically, I believe, like a, a, a super moon, which came in, uh, which came in last new moon. Okay, last new moon, there was a, a strawberry moon, as they call it, which was, uh, I believe it came in Wednesday, um, June 13th, and now uh, this, today is actually a, a new moon as well, and it's um, July the 13th, okay? Um so this is the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai showing his elect that he's with us. He's uh, uh, um, performing things in the spirit for us. He's setting these nations up for World War III, setting America up for destruction. And he's setting up his elect and his men for, uh, for uh, the, the coming kingdom. And also for the return of his son, Yahweh Shai, to rectify all things and put things in order in the earth. Okay? Um, yeah, but this is real quick. It's not really an article per se. There's a little video. Um, if I can play this, I'll see if I can play it. Um, if if not, I'll just you know, go ahead and post this up and then post the Lincoln Brothers can play the video. It's just going into the... Uh, the information on the supermoon solar eclipse that's occurring today um but yeah you know this is a uh, a sign that we're in the end of the so-called white man's uh kingdom all right we're at the end of esau's world all right and our world you know the world of israel is on the rise okay the kingdom of heaven is soon to come okay uh you know there's been all kinds of signs in the heavens and the earth you know, because this is uh, 2018 is the year of prophecy. Prophecies are coming to pass, man. Uh, like I said, you know, this month, July, there's been a number of uh, uh, signs in the heavens taking place. Uh, like I say, even in June, now at the end of this month, there's going to be another blood moon. Okay? So these are just the things that Yahweh Hashem El Shai is showing to us that, that he's with us, man. Okay, um, so it says there's a super moon solar eclipse this Friday the 13th for the first time in 43 years. Have you ever heard of a super moon solar eclipse on Friday the 13th? Right. 
You can't tell me that this is not the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right? And this is why we have to stay in the spirit, man. Let's not get distracted by the distractions being set up through Satan, man. You know, it, the spirit is on you to rebuke these false prophets, Alizé, whatever, you know, say your peace and, 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 you know, leave it alone. Because guess what? They've been warned. Okay? They've been warned. They've been warned the same way these two-thirds out here have been warned. The same way Esau and his other nations have been warned. The Yahweh Bashan is soon going to show his power, and he's going to show his power through his men. You got to remember that. Yahweh Bashan is going to show his power through his men. Okay, the men that's doing the right thing, starting with the apostles at, at Great Millstone on down to the rest of the brothers, man. Okay, that's in good standing in the spirit. All right, the hopeful elect. The Lord is going to show his power soon, man. And all these people out here are going to be, like the scripture says, they're going to be willing. Okay? All right? And Esau is going to be scared and afraid, and he's going to have to start making some moves. All right? But this was just to, you know, you know, bring out the information on this super moon solar eclipse happening today. Um, yeah, how about you? I wish I was with us. I can um, see if I can play this video now. Um... Okay, actually, I can't. But, um, well, you know what? I can. Let me go ahead and play it. the video and i'll say this a lot of these uh signs in the heavens are happening on the uh the uh, eastern hemisphere the uh you know the upcoming um um blood moon is also going to be visible from the eastern hemisphere i don't think not so much from this side of the earth but of course there will be you know streaming websites where you can catch it live on the internet but um, yeah, brothers, we're here, you know, and uh, and and best believe that these signs in the heavens guess guess who they're be they're being seen by on the other side of the world, the elect. You know, the elect. You know, the Israelite foreigners are out there. They're going to be able to see these signs in the heavens out there on the other side of the world, you know. So that's why, like how I said, pray for laborers to come into the harvest, man. Pray that these Israelite foreigners wake up and start camps, and also push this word. So, prophecy can come to pass. As scripture says, the gospel shall be preached. You know, and then, uh, then you know, this you know, signs in the heavens are signs of other things to come. But the elect are out there, and they're going to be waking up. You know, but that's all I you know I want to bring out. I didn't, I didn't want to make this too long. It wasn't really a long article, but um, um, you know, this is definitely uh, um, about me I was shy. Uh, activating the spirit, you know, we're just going to constantly go into another level of the spirit. All right. Um, so continue to pray. Uh, if you got to fast, fast, do what you got to do. Stay in order. Don't let these demons, these devils, these false prophets distract you. Keep your eyes on the prize. Uh, your how about me? I was shy. Is 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 going to defend us, man. As soon as Esau tries to make his move. Yahweh Bashan was shy is going to make his move. Just like in this movie, The Purge, that just came out, you know, Esau's going to try to, you know, come at Jake. But for the elect, especially the men of the Lord, he's going to protect us, all right? He's going to give us that power, all right? And there's nothing that Esau, these devils, like you see these devils here, Trump and, you know, so-called Queen Elizabeth and Melania Trump. Hey, th these devils and these elites are not going to be able to do nothing against the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi Awashai by Shemakakwadash. All right? 
So with that, I'm going to end it there. I'm going to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakaqwa Dash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And all, as always, peace and blessings to the uh, hopeful elect. Shalom.